Hello, Mrs. Neumeyer back again with our Tin Whistle Unit and our Music Theory. Today we're going to be talking about dynamics in music. Now, remember we're going to be learning the Yankee Doodle song this year? Well, I want you to sing it in a very quiet voice. So, Yankee Doodle went to town riding on a pony. Okay, now I want you to try singing it louder. Yankee Doodle went to town. <laughs> yeah, so if you sing it louder or softer, those are what we call dynamics in music. Now, we have different dynamics here. I'm going to show you on this chart. This is quiet. We're, uh, we're like we're pretending it's like almost like a thermometer, right? You've seen a thermometer where lower up here and then it goes up higher. Well, this is like our sound thermometer, our sound meter. We're measuring the sound. So down here, it's very quiet. Up here, it gets louder. The higher we go, the louder we go. The lower we go, the quieter we go. And these are the names of the different sounds or, or volume in music. And we're going to start with Piano, because it means quiet, soft. And there's forte, which is loud. Now, it, the funny thing is, is the piano, the instrument, used to be called piano forte, because it could be soft or loud. You could play it depending how much pressure you put on the keys. So those are kind of our two, uh, the first ones that we kind of look at as far as dynamics is concerned. Now you can see, you can go quieter than that, or you can go louder than that, and they have different names. Then there's one in the middle too, or uh, the two of them in the middle. So we start with piano, which is soft, and we start, and then we go forte, which is loud. Now, if we want to sing the song again, we're going to do it quietly like a little tiny mouse. It's piano, <laughs> pianissimo. This means extremely soft. And then you go up to piano again, mezzo piano. That's like a soft speaking voice. So it'd be a nice quiet voice. This would be a regular speaking voice, which is mezzo forte. And then we go up to forte, which is loud. And then even louder, extremely loud is fortissimo. Very loud. Okay, so can you see the dynamics here? You'll see this written in the music and it tells you how should you play, like how loud should you play the music. No matter what instrument you're on, like the piano, you can play nice and soft or you might play nice and loud. And in our tin whistle, you might play nice and soft or nice and loud. The dynamics tell us how we play. All right, we're going to spend some time now reviewing those. We're going to go through them and See if we can put them in order and label the names. And to do so, I've got some flashcards that we're going to use. Now, if you're in a class, you can pass these out so everyone gets a different one. Or if you're um, if you're doing this at home and you're by yourself, you can just take them and see if you can match them up. Now, I've got this cool uh, little pocket chart here that I'm going to use as an example. If you have one of those, you can use that, or you can just lay them out on the table or on the floor, or wherever. All right, now I'm going to imagine that I was given mezzo forte. All right, where, if we're going to put it in line, let's imagine this is the top. Now that was the, was it loud or quiet? The top was loud, so that was the loudest. Next loudest, all right, the mezzo forte, if you remember, was right here. And then we had three more under it. So it might help us to remember there are six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's see what the next one is. Ooh, forte. Do you remember where forte goes? Did you say there? Yeah, that's where it goes. All right, let's see what the next one is that I get. Oh, this says mezzo forte. We already have that one up here, so I know that one matches right here. So we're going to be matching the word with the symbol and putting it in the correct order. 
So you can mix these up, give them to everybody else, and let everyone else have a, everyone can take a turn one at a time, trying to put them in the right places. Like, oh, this is the next one I got. So this one's going to go up here. Play the game a few times, mixing it up so everyone has a chance to try something different. Or if, again, if you're at home, you can um, match them all up. Um, so you can try to remember the names that go with the symbols and then the order from loudest to softest where they go on the scale. And see if you got them right. All right. Next what you can do is sing our song that we're covering for this unit. So for us, it's in cycle three, it's Yankee Doodle. For cycle two, it's the Mary Had a Little Lamb. And for cycle one, it's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Sing the song or have each student sing the song and you, you'll point to what volume you want them to sing at, the dynamics that you want them to sing the song with. All right, so if, for example, if I point to this one and I say, Right, try singing the song um, in the piano missimo. Ooh, very, very quietly. Okay, and then maybe at the next time, sing it forte. Yankee, really loud, right? Or fortissimo, extremely loud. Not shouting, not shouting, but extremely loud, right? Because we don't shout in music. We just sing really loud with all of our vocal cords. So take turns doing it in all the different ones and see if you can sing the song like that. All right, now tin whistle is really hard to get the dynamics on when you're blowing because it, it's really hard to get a really soft or a louder tone without it being that shrill tone. So that's why we practice singing the song in the using the different dynamics instead of playing with the different dynamics. But go ahead and keep practicing with the scale when you're ready, you could start practicing the music for this, for this cycle, so the Yankee Doodle song. Um, but first, you want to make sure you get that scale down first. So that's an important skill to get first, but if, you know, if you've done, gone through foundation several times and you're ready to go ahead and start playing the music, maybe start with just the first line. Um, the Yankee Doodle went to town. Just start with that part to start out with, and we'll be building it upon it each week. All right, go ahead and enjoy practicing, enjoy music, and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. See you next time.